very happy morning children today let us start the physics class before that welcome you all for the new lesson that is the second volume physics second volume eighth lesson the lesson topic name is dual nature of radiation and matter dual nature of radiation and matter do you know dual nature of radiation dual nature of radiation is nothing but two characteristics of radiation so dual means two so two characteristics are one radiation way so uh, one characteristic is a yeah, behave like a particle another one characteristic behave like a waves so behave like a particle means when the atoms are in the proton electron and the neutron so these particles behave like a particles in the radiation then behave like a waves means it will transmit through the medium by the help of the wave formation so medium will transfer from the wave formation la adha now transmit out that is the electromagnetic wave formula so this is very very important lesson dual nature of radiation and matter so in this lesson we discuss about the uh, some topics what are the topics we have to discuss next please uh, Uh, what's this uh, textbook uh, uh, no points the phenomenon of electron emission and its types first point second point the observation of its halbert and lenard then third one is photoelectric effect and its loss then next point is the concept of quantization of energy adu nam enna paakaporena photo cell and its application the next one is particle nature of radiation the next the wave nature of matter then only the other there is a familiar topic de broglie equation and de broglie wavelength of electrons so chemistry you know what's the beginning of the topic the next the construction and working of electron microscope the davison and germer experiment then ellar me rombo 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 therinja topic x rays and its production then x ray spectra and its types so in these are all the topics we have to discuss about this lesson lesson name is dual nature of radiation and matter so the introduction part is so already we discussed the important characteristics of dual nature so first characteristic is electromagnetic radiation are regarded as a wave because they exhibit wave nature in phenomena such as so please important point is please note down interference diffraction and polarization and some suitable circumference similarly under other circumstances like black body radiation and photoelectric effect and electromagnetic radiation behaves as though they consist of stream of particles the second characteristic is when electron proton and other particles are discovered they are considered as a particles because they possess mass and the charge However, later experiments show that under certain circumstances they exhibit wave-like properties. So, this is very important characteristic, dual characteristics of radiation. The next topic is electron emission. What is meant by electron emission? So, I am going to explain the electron emission topic. So, do you know that? atom structure of the atom that is the atom is consist of nucleus consist of nucleus this is nucleus then each and every orbital so this is said consider the orbital orbital is the home electrons are in matter so based on the metal properties of the metal each and every metal is go The electrons in the arrangement different. So number of electrons in the orbital is different for different uh, metals. So electron emission. Now let me discuss about the electron emission. So in the world we have only seen that in the answer box. In that the electron emission. Electron now what is emit? Emit from the orbital. How the most orbital? So outer most orbital electrons bonding with the nucleus is very weak bonding system. Weak bonding system level. Weak bonding system level. Now you can easily 
escape from the orbital. So, if the electrons are weak bonding system, based on the room temperature, room temperature is not good. In the bonding system, what is it? It is random moving here and there. So, moving here and there, random moving electrons are good. So, out of most orbital electrons, bonding with the nucleus is very weakly bonding system. अब वीकली बॉडी सिस्टम होते हैं बेस का अंदर रूम टेम्परेचर द बॉडी सिस्टम ब्रेक आई इट इज मूविंग इन एयर एयर एंड दैट दैट इज अ रैंडम मैन रैंडम मैन रैंडम मोशन ऑफ मूव आई ओ सो वी विल बी गिव सम अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी टू द फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन व्हाट हैपेंस फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स के हम एनर्जी को तो ना अंदर का ऑर्बिटल है इजी है ना एस्केप पॉइंट सो एस्केप फ्रॉम द ऑर्बिटल सो दिस एस्केपिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इज नथिंग बट इलेक्ट्रॉन एमिशन electron emission so some amount of energy needed to escape from the orbital how much amount of energy needed uh, that means that the further topic we will discuss about this uh, how much amount of energy needed to escape from the uh, electrons Electro uh, electrons escape from the orbital so energy of the same are gathered over metal ko mena gana different differ up because bonding with the nucleus and the differ up each and every properties of the main nucleus so the emission of electrons like important term is surface emission that is the surface barrier so in that there is a energy barrier you know surface barrier so do you know the definition of surface barrier please watch this uh, textbook sentence here surface barrier This is the definition of surface barrier. The potential barrier which prevents free electrons from leaving the metallic surface is called surface barrier. So, what is the explanation of this sentence? The potential barrier. Potential means some amount of energy possesses the object. That is, uh, it is not object. It is the electron. So, each and every electron is having some potential energy. And the potential energy is the amount of metal now plays a. And the potential energy that is there, na, that will be the same. So, potential barrier which prevents free electrons from leaving the metallic surface is called surface barrier. That means free electrons from leaving the metallic surface. So, the potential barrier which prevents prevents na, that will go away. Na, panna da, that will be the one that will be so free electrons from leaving the metallic surface. Called surface barrier. So each and every surface we have now, now we get each and every surface in the orbital of the surface. So what is that? Our potential energy, that potential energy barrier. I mean, now the surface uh, length electron leave out, leave the power that all of that is now now prevent from. Another one is called that surface is called as a surface barrier. I have given so now this is the first definition surface barrier. Next second definition is. The liberation of electrons from the any surface of a substance is called electron emission. Liberation of electrons. So free electrons go here and there, move either way. That is the random moving way. So in the electrons liberated from the this orbital. In the orbital, the electrons will be there, move either way. They move all the. अभी नहीं चला. ये देना सुन ले. Electron emission सुन ले. यहाँ पर move आ गो. यहाँ पर emission आ गो. Emission आ गया तो the energy level of life is ki kudukku vendi energy higher level ku thana and the higher level energy level in the bonding system break i think easily escape from the orbital orbital and the electrons emit that so that is the definition here liberation of electron from the any surface any surface means any surface adina idu endha surface ah varu nadakala endha surface ku electrons emission ah aagumo அதுக்கு என்ன ஆகும் சமய அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி नीडेड அந்த எனர்ஜி நம்ம கொடுத்தா ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் என்ன ஆயிடலாம் வெளியில எமிட் ஆகும் சோ லிபரேஷன் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் फ्रॉम எனி சர்ஃபேஸ் ஆஃப் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் இஸ் कॉल्ड எலக்ட்ரான் எமிஷன் சோ தட் இஸ் कॉल्ड எலக்ட்ரான் எமிஷன் சோ திஸ் இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டெஃபினிஷன் சொல்றா டூ மார்க்ஸ் டெஃபினிஷன் இது இல்லாத क्वेश्चन பேப்பர் இல்ல ரொம்ப ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டன்ட்டான டூ மார்க் क्वेश्चन வர்க் ஃபங்க்ஷன் வர்க் function so work function means minimum energy needed for an electron to escape from the metal surface is called the work function of the metal so this i am going to explain this concept 
minimum energy required. So if the electrons remove on the unit down, uh, minimum energy required. So minimum energy required to liberate the electrons from the metal surface. In the metal surface, the electrons will be removed on the unit. And the whole amount of minimum energy required, it is called work. It is called work function. This is very, very important. The two more questions, children. Please mark it down. This is the definition. The minimum energy needed for an electron to escape from the metal surface is called work function of that metal. So this is very very important. So already we know that uh, SI unit of energy, mg to the SI unit is joule. Energy to the SI unit is joule. In the work function, we have to electron mode. We have to calculate the electron mode. Electron mode. The electron mode is equal to kinetic energy gained by the electron. Is equal to work done by the electric field. Q. B, Q na charge has been a potential difference. That is the voltage. So, one electron to divide boundary in the end of value 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 volt into 1 volt. So, the answer is 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 joule. That is the one electron volt. It will convert into energy form. One electron volt energy will be sold on 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 joule because this value is very very important for your work. Uh, problem question, problem type question. If we are solving this, energy required, energy required. If we are energy required, then if we listen, but okay, in the electron side, zero point five electron volt level, like that will be this is the potential. In this would be energy, orbital level, like would be energy, zero point five electron volt. Now, work function in the definition. What is the definition of work function? Minimum energy required to liberate the or leave from this. Surface, metal surface. So, if you want to use minimum energy, you have to use the example. 3 electron volt energy. 3 electron volt energy. If you want to use the minimum amount of energy, you have to use the metal surface. 3 electron volt minus 0.5 electron volt. 3.5 electron volt minus 0.5 electron volt. This is the definition of work function. So, this is the definition of work function. Electron volt that is the minimum electric uh, minimum energy. So minimum energy na 2.5 electron volt na work function value is work function value is 2.5 electron volt. 2.5 electron volt be in the metal surface in the easy and na bolo electrons in the bonding system nucleus or the bonding system will break away automatically metal surface will escape. Apo yung yung tayo bolo minimum energy na. 2.5 electron. So minimum energy to liberate the electrons from the metal surface is nothing but work function. It is called work function. This is very very important. Two more questions, children. So work function get to the each and every metal ko over metal ko over with the mana work function. Yes. All metal ko bonding with the nucleus with the electrons and the uh, nucleus with the bonding is the same manner. So. Arrangement of electrons and bonding with the nucleus on the differ of each and every metal so above each and every metal so work function in our differ of because minimum energy required in the different for different metals. So I know the textbook look at the every good regard over metals no yellow amount of work function work function needed. So how much amount of work function needed to electrons escape from the metal surface? So some uh, examples are given in the textbook. A work function for some materials. Example, cesium and na CS only then simple. Work function are given na 2.14. Metal aluminium with the symbol of the AL solo. Work function are given about now 4.3. Similarly, likewise different metals for different different work function they want because all the arrangement then all the bonding the system they all the type of bonding are there. Abhi na the base money work function only value now deeper. The next step. Metal selected in the so that metal selected for electron emission should have low work function. The electron emission is categorized into different types depending upon the form of energy being utilized. There are mainly four types of electron emission. So please note it down, children. There are four types of electron emission which are given below. One is the thermonic emission, second one is field emission, then the third one is photoelectric emission, the last one is secondary emission. So I am going to explain about the thermonic emission, field emission and uh, uh, photoelectric emission, secondary emission. So there are mainly four types of electron emission. I am going to explain there are four types of electron emission. 
So four types of electron emission. There is nothing but first one is thermal thermo emission. Thermonic emission. First topic is thermonic emission. Thermonic emission. Second one is field emission. Field emission. Third one is what one more. Third is photoelectric emission. Photoelectric emission. Then last one is fourth one is secondary emission. Secondary emission. Secondary emission. So first one is thermoelectric emission. Thermoelectric emission means we will tell you already. Ah, you are aware. Electrons in the anta we need to use them. So electrons are autonomous. Ah, we tell you that electrons. In bonding with the nucleus of the very weak bonding system are formed based on the different uh, temperature. Temperature based on it. At the room temperature, bonding system some amount of bonding system is formed, but it will not uh, eject from the metal surface. Metal surface will not eject at all because at the temperature of energy, at the energy of the system, at the energy, how much amount of energy they have got, at the amount of energy reach from what the the electrons it will uh, escape from the metal surface. If an iron pot is not heat pot, if you use know, it, it will put metal in there. Only one nucleus is there, but the metal is basic. Okay? So only one atom that is there. Only if you put metal in there, so many atoms and the particles will go. So now the metal is here. This is the metal. In the other one, the metal is there. Only in the other one, the so charge the particles. In the particles, we will find very tight here. Okay? If an iron pot is not heat pot, temperature will go. Heat is. Temperature, temperature, heat pump, heat pump, I have done. So, the minimum amount of energy required to are uh, needed for escape from the metal surface. So, heat energy will be there. So, I will give you that some amount of heat energy. Heat energy will be there. Now, you put a energy level in there. Now, increase up. So, the energy level increase is now automatically on the free electrons eject or escape from the metal surface. So thermal and the temperature will change the eject point only. It is called the thermonic emission. So this is thermonic emission. Thermal due to the thermal effect. Thermal means heat energy due to the like the electrons emitted from the metal surface. So that is why this emission is called thermonic emission. Then the second emission is field emission. Second one is field emission. Field emission means so the metal which is placed in the Field, electric field. Field emission means the metal which is placed in the electric field. So you will play this. You will play this. This is plus charge is not play this. This is negative charge is not play this. So if you know that electric field is transfer from plus to minus. In the metal or metal is the same. You get the medium is not charged with particles. So in the positive potential, in the electric electrons is not formed. Pull, 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 pulling the electrons from the metal surface. Pulling the electrons from the metal surface in the wall. So the electrons eject from the metal surface. It due to the field, electric field, electric field. Now all the other electrons. If we know the energy transfer from positive to the electrons, electrons are almost the point where the electrons are in the positive potential of the energy transfer. Positive or negative one are attract each other. So opposite charges are attract each other. So the lines of force in the one are attract one. That means pull one. Pull one are almost the orbital of the electrons. Easily escape from the metal surface. So the electrons are all escaped from the metal surface due to the electric field. So that is why this is called the field emission. This is called the field emission. The third one is photoelectric emission. Photoelectric emission. What is meant by photoelectric emission? Photoelectric emission concept is that. So this is the metal surface. So in the inner there are charged particles. The charged particles are suitable frequency of radiation. Radiation. Suitable frequency frequency of the radiation incident on the metal surface. In other words, in the radiation incident on the metal surface. In the incident of radiation, the energy transmitted to the electrons. 
electrons are minimum amount of minimum amount of energy carries it. Now automatically the electrons are ejected from the metal surface. So this is the photons. The radiation like that, the radiation energy, the blue energy name of the photon energy. Photon energy. So the radiation of the photon energy incident on the metal surface, that is a suitable amount of photo electron energy incident on the metal surface. What happened? Energy, electrons needed energy. That is it. Automatically, orbital is the outermost orbital. Energy carries out and the electron will be there. Bond is system break and the free electrons easy and escape from the metal surface. So, electron escape from the metal surface due to the photo, photon energy. That means photoelectric energy. That is why it is called photoelectric. Because radiation it has photon energy. In the radiation line, the energy is gone. Photon is the energy is gone. Photon energy is gone. The energy transferred to the electron. Electron is the energy transferred to the electron. Electron will be needed amount of energy. Energy is gone. What do you mean? Immediately the electrons escape from the metal surface. So, this is third type of emission. That is a photoelectric emission. Here, photon is gone. And the energy, radiation is the energy name of the photon and the energy. So, that is why photoelectric emission. The last emission is secondary emission. Secondary emission, the last emission is the last emission. And the secondary emission is the main concept. That is the high speed electrons. This is the last type of radiation. Here, the high speed electrons are already good. The little electrons are done. In the electrons are already, so many electrons are in the metal surface. So, high speed electrons, and they have to do high speed electrons, incident on the metal surface. High speed electrons, in the bottom, electrons for the energy increase. This high speed electrons increases the electron energy. Electron energy increases, you know, automatically the electrons eject from the metal surface. That means escape from the metal surface. This is the secondary emission. Last type of emission, secondary emission. One second repeat, all the emission. Thermonic emission is nothing but energy needed to escape the electrons from the metal surface due to the thermal energy means it is called thermonic emission. Field emission means the electrons easily escape from the metal surface due to the field. Electric field means it is called field emission. Similarly, the electrons in Escape from the metal surface due to the photon and the energy radiation to the photon and the energy nala escape as time is called photoelectric emission. Then the last emission is secondary emission. Secondary emission is the high speed electrons incident on the metal surface. Incident on what is on the high speed electrons. Yeah, electron, the electrons the energy put on energy level increases actually. Increasing level of energy level and the bonding system. They got the free electrons from the energy level increase on easily escape from the metal surface. So these are the four important emission, very very important topic for the uh, dual nature of the radiation lesson. So this is very very important topic, children. Please note it down. You must watch this video from beginning to end. That time only you can understand the concept of emission. That means electron emission from the metal surface. Thank you very much, children. Thank you for your cooperation.